Adrian Pasta was born on 24 March 1949 and is an English actress and singer, prominent during the 1960s and 1970s. She adopted the surname Pasta in 1966. Pasta appeared in films such as To Sir With Love, 1967, and Here We Go Round the Mulberry Bush, Up the Junction, both 1968, Spring, and Port Wine, 1970, and Carry On Behind, 1975. These are my best seven movies for Adrian Pasta. At number 7. No Time for Tears, 1957. No Time for Tears is a moving, sympathetic portrayal of the challenges faced by all those who enter this most demanding yet rewarding of professions, from routine operations to more serious conditions, from anxious, sometimes hostile parents to workplace romance. At number 6. All the Way Up, 1970. Fred Midway may be a bit short on brains, but he's got plenty of ambition. However, before he can gain a promotion as a salesman he must make his family more socially acceptable. At number 5. The Alf Garnet Saga, 1972. Alf and his family have been moved from their East End home into a high-rise council estate. Alf is not only having trouble coping with his new home, but also with the long commute to work, the long walk to the corner pub, his long-suffering wife, rebellious daughter, and her philandering, constantly unemployed husband. At number 4. Up Pompeii, 1971. Classic British farce in which Roman slave Lurcio unwittingly gains possession of a list of people who are conspiring to bring down Emperor Nero. A relentless chase to death ensues in which both the insurgents and Nero's staff pursue the shell-shocked slave for the scroll. At number 3. Here We Go Round the Mulberry Bush, 1968. Frustrated that he still hasn't lost his virginity, teenage grocery store delivery boy Jamie McGregor, Barry Evans, appeals to Spike, Christopher Timothy, an older ladies' man, for advice. After failing to seal the deal with several local girls, because of his working-class mannerisms and a paralyzing case of teenage self-doubt, Jamie struggles to get the attention of Mary Gloucester, Judy Geeson, a beautiful classmate who doesn't seem to know he even exists. At number 2. Up the Junction, 1968. Addresses some of the major 60s social issues, a bored rich London girl from Chelsea decides to go slumming in depressed Battersea, getting a flat and starts factory work and makes friends, of which one has to get an illegal abortion. At number 1. Adventures of a Taxi Driver, 1976. Ominous music plays as a car emerges out of steam into a dark and threatening urban landscape. The camera flashes on Travis Bickle's eyes, which appear menacing. The first scene after the credits introduces us to Travis as he interviews for a job as a taxi driver. He tells the interviewer that he is 26 years old, was honorably discharged from the Marines in 1973, indicating to viewers that he served in the Vietnam War and that he can't sleep at night. Hey there folks, thank you for watching to the very end. Please always stay tuned, subscribe, like and share to your friends. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time.